what's good guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna just give you guys a quick update of how i'm doing well i've been a bit able if you've noticed but i'm still here and i just wanted to share with you a little bit of what's going on in my life and how i'm getting prepared for this baby my hands are very full at the moment because as you know i've got three kids and my eldest is in high school so i'm very very busy and i try to fit in as much as i can when it comes to youtube and instagram and all of that but right now because i'm getting so much different complications and little problems which is normal and expected but i just wanted to share with you guys what's going on so stay tuned and keep on watching if you want to hear what's been happening to me i'm so excited guys i got like six to ten weeks left hey guys good morning welcome back to my channel so today's gonna be a 30 weeks pregnant update i barely do these because i just want to space it out and just give you guys a you know a proper update but i've been going through it i haven't been doing the videos or anything because i've been feeling a lot of braxton hicks and pelvic pressure so I've been taking it easy and trying to get my mind ready because I want to do something called hypnosis or hypnobirth. I want to try it out for the first time. So I'm trying to get my mind ready. Um, I'm trying to download apps and different things or read up on about it to see if I can do it during my labor and birth. And um, yeah, I'm just trying to get psyched up and ready and i'm experiencing so much different things right now it's unbelievable all right so we're gonna start off with the pressure as i said pressure's getting real it's getting stronger every day i can barely walk properly and it is just getting annoying even though i really love being pregnant and carrying a baby it is so hard on my body right now and it is affecting my mind sometimes to be motivated to do anything because i just want to sleep sorry about the noise i just want to sleep and rest and stuff so i really really advise anybody that's pregnant or in your third trimester to rest as much as possible just go along with how you're feeling do not fight the urge to sleep because babies come up very soon i can't sleep properly at night anyways i can't get too comfortable even my tummy, my tummy's itching so much. Because my belly is itching so much, I decided to use some natural castor. I mean, not castor, shea butter. So it looks like a bit too white. White. The natural shea butter is white, and the ref like the ones that they mix with other things is a bit yellow. So I got some from Ghana. So all I do is take a little bit, I rub it in my hands to melt it and I'll just apply it on my tummy. I'll show you guys my tummy in a second. But um, my tummy's been itching so much. Everyone's been a bit itchy. I don't know why. Sometimes it happens during pregnancy at different stages. But mine's just acting up now. And I'm starting to get like dry patches on my cheeks which never happens so I go ahead and I put a little bit of castor on that on, on my lips because everything is just playing up these days and as you can see my face is getting swollen finally my ankles are still swollen even though I do not have preeclampsia but there's this good called edema which a lot of pregnant women get so you know we're prone to swollen ankles and feet or sometimes we go upper foot size so um yeah it's kind of normal but it's sometimes so annoying when you're walking around or you can't fit in your shoes right now the only thing that's fitting me properly is my trainers so <laughs> i just wear my puma trainers and yeah that keeps my ankle and my feet comfy and the weather in london is not hot all the time so you know i'm not really suffering from like heat problems but oh, i'm getting hot most of the time especially at night sometimes the clothes are bothering me and because i'm getting so much pressure around my tummy and back i do not like wearing too much tight things on my body so like things like this which is really stretchy is really really comfy for me sometimes when it's too tight on my tummy i just pull it down like this and this is my bump 
at 30 weeks <laughs> so it's getting very big i'm not sure if it dropped do you guys think it's dropped it's still feel a bit high to me but i can tell the baby's trying to engage because i can feel oh my gosh last night i was in so much pain the braxton hicks started i thought i was in actual labor i was like i was telling my partner i don't know what's going on but i'm gonna i need to start getting ready with my hypnotherapy kind of hypnosis thing i want to do for this baby um for this birth because it is something that i've been reading up on and i think it will help me because i've done three natural births so far and i think this is going to be a good route for me because i am going to try and do another natural birth so i think hypnotherapy or hypnosis is going to help me to get my mind ready and to focus on the things i need to focus on which i normally do in labor but sometimes you get more tense and i want to be more relaxed during this labor and birth and as i said i'm going to try and record it if i can if not i'll just give you guys a story update <laughs> because when i'm in labor and when people are around me we just forget to do things like that we're just in the moment and i forget to do the filming but um some things as i said should be kept private but there's some things i want to share because i know that eventually it will help somebody out there that wants to probably experience natural birth or see how hypnosis work and yeah i definitely want to share some as much as you can during my labor process or my start of labor so you guys can see how i deal with pain some people say that i got a high pain threshold but yeah we will see when it starts because last night i was starting to panic but i don't want to panic so i'm gonna get my mind right get my bags packed and anything can happen now because i've got six we've got when you're 30 weeks you have six to ten weeks to get prepared for the baby so yeah 36 weeks or when you're 40 weeks the baby should come sometimes the baby goes over 40 weeks but i'm praying that my baby don't my babies always come early or before time so fingers crossed um this baby don't come too early and this is just braxton because i'm feeling right now but i'm feeling a lot of tightening i'm feeling a lot of pelvic pain or pressure feels like the baby wants to engage now so i can feel like moving this with the head trying to get down there and it's so painful but i'm trying to breathe through it and i'm feeling a lot of tenderness in my breast like i'm getting prepared for breastfeeding ankles are swollen face is getting swollen itching yeah there's just different things going on right now and uh, i've got no energy all i want to do is sleep 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 sometimes as soon as i eat i want to go back to bed even though yeah, i would up like for four hours <laughs> i'm like really tired so I just wanna come by and just tell you guys I'm still here. I I'm gonna try my best to do as much as I can, but I'm not gonna push myself too much because you know having a baby is a hard job and being prepared for labor and birth, your body just needs to rest sometimes. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. And I just wanted to come by and give you guys an update why I haven't done a video in so long because I'm not somebody that do that. I'm always doing my videos regularly, but I'm still here and baby's still in there. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. But I'll definitely come by and see you guys in another video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.